Okay, the VHS capture device. Well, I was planning to get another one because I had to hook it up to the PlayStation and all that. PlayStation, um, yeah, basically just the PlayStation I could fit down here. I've got a ton of systems upstairs, but I might just use the old laptop with that. That laptop overheats, but I have no choice. I'm not going to buy a second laptop to go upstairs. And then, then I'd have three laptops. I mean, that's stupid. So, um, let's just say... I, I have one more VCR tape I didn't do anything with. It was an old recording of the Americans, and I don't understand quite why anyone in this house would tape the Americans. Because in that time frame of even when the show first started, it was not a long VHS. VHS was, there wasn't a method at all. We had HD in the house and all that, so someone must have used it in a, in a room with a VCR to record a show they wanted to watch. But other than that, I can't see why, but the Americans was on it. That's the only tape I have left, and then I'm done. I went through hours and hours and hours of these tapes, of um, VHS tapes. You know, I, what I want to do is I want to buy some more blank tapes and say, hey, maybe I can get grab some more commercials off of them and stuff. Because, you know, m most of the videos I did commercials for got a few hundred views or more. I was very, very fortunate with those videos. The only problem and fear that I have is that if I buy a bunch of tapes that have stuff like content already on them off of eBay, I'm not going to get any of the commercials. I'm just going to get the movies and I can't do the movies because that's that would be copyright. But if I do the commercials, I'd be okay. So I don't think I'm going to end up doing it at all to tell you the truth. I really don't think so. I liked doing it, but it's a lengthy process. It's not like a video game when you can record and play for maybe an hour and a, or a couple hours or a few hours. You, ha well actually, yeah, whatever. You have to sit with the VCR and click record on the computer and sit there. Now, at one point I was just, um, at the first thing I was doing at first, this was a long, if you go way back in my channel, I have individual commercials, like 20 seconds or a little more a piece. Then I decided, no way am I going to keep clicking um, stop, play, stop, play. That was really annoying. If someone does that on a VHS or any kind of capture card to record something, I know some gamers that don't like to edit and stuff, that's what they do is keep it to make more videos. Um, stop, play, stop, play. <laughs> Um, I wanted to, I decided after that that I wanted to, um, basically just record right through it. I click, I click stop and play every once in a while, not as much. So not every commercial deserves a stop and a play. So I, um, but I do the whole round of commercials, but I can't get that off of eBay. That's the problem. If I go to eBay and I do go to record something, there's that problem that I, that if I put it in my VCR, I may just get the movie and that's it. None of the commercials or anything like that. My commercials turned out to be much more better than I ever thought. The Disney Channel commercials too. A couple of them have over 10,000 views, I believe, yeah? All my VHS capture content is at the top of my list, except for my Music Beach Boys video. Everything is from the capture device I did. That's how good it was. My best Disney Channel movie. 60 plus thousand views because I used that capture device to take it off of and a little bit of editing and stuff. That has to be something, if you ask me. And um, I think that VHS commercials will be great. The only situation I may continue to do this one day is if I find more VHS tapes. I know for a fact it's going to be i got to have some more VHS tapes around here somewhere. I checked some $6 million man VHS tapes that were taped off a of television, but they don't have any commercials on them. That'll be the um, one of the two reasons I would get another one. I'm doing more videos, not get another one. And um, the second reason would be if I went to, say, a flea market or something, and there was a bunch of just tapes just sitting there. Maybe I would consider doing it then, too. You can buy them for, like, probably... You can probably offer them a quarter and they let you have it. Um, I was very successful for a small channel with those. And let's just hope the future holds itself. Actually, I was surprised. Some of the individual um, commercial t things that I got off of my capture card, this is all before Windows 10 decided to not allow, allow me to use it correctly anymore. 
Um, some of them, the individual commercials never got any views. Eh, okay. So, yeah, I love it. Always tell me something different. Um, and you know what? There's another video I'm going to make something to talk about it. Is that you got to make sure your capture card... Now, this is... You're really going to make sure in this situation because the VHS ones take the RCA cables. And um, the fact that they don't make... A, they don't really make any new devices. The, once in a while, they make a new device as a capture card. But most of the time, when you go on Amazon and stuff, you see what... You look in the description, it says 2012. I don't want software from 2012. Um... And, you know, that's not good because it might not be compatible with your operating system. Apparently, the one I has was not. But it still, um, it was a little and it worked fine. And then the capture card decided not to work anymore because I did a Windows update. And that was it. And then when you look at a lot of capture cards, they say they work with Windows 7 and above. Now, first of all, what do you got to work with above Windows 7 is not very good for um, compatibility with all the devices. Windows 8 was a complete disaster because I don't even remember anyone talking about it or having the system. But Windows 8 was a complete failure. I can't imagine it would work on there. And if it worked on Windows 10, it's not going to be compatible. So when you look at that compatibility list or what, what operating system the card may work on, you got to understand that if it says Windows 7 and above, don't buy it. Buy something that set includes Windows 10 inside of the description. So you know that's the best chance you have. And then after that, it still may not work. Um, what What's great, what, what do I use my um, VHS capture card for? Well, I have two of them. And I use one of them to, uh, to um, pick up the audio from my scan to use my stream. So I actually have a purpose for one of them still. But... Um, who knows what could happen in the future? Let's just say I've had a lot of fun with the things and I wish I had more tapes. And I knew deep down inside I had a ton more tapes out there that were recorded stuff. Especially, um, uh, let me see. Um, trying to, yes, especially around the Cartoon Network when I was a kid. But I can't find any of those tapes. I found a couple of Disney and that was it. Well, we'll see what happens. All I have to say is I owe it to that capture card for some of the videos I've had and the, the video game videos I've made. That's what I'm... I wanted to use the capture card I had now, but it won't work with Windows 10 anymore. Only the audio part will. The video flickers. Bye-bye.